I don't know how to start a video, but I'm bootless, and this is Factorio episode 3, I think. Uh, I'm slowing it down even further. This is the next 15 minute chunk of the second hour of recording that I did. So I'm gonna try to explain sort of what I'm doing a little bit better. Explain, like, the, the thought process behind what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, so, first of all, you can see, like, I start to fiddle with my miners here. Basically, I'm just trying to get higher throughput. I want more iron ore moving through my system at one time. If I have more iron ore moving through, then I can, I, I can, like, put down a better smelting setup and get more iron plates going through. And that's really the main goal here. I need more iron, so I increase the amount of iron that I'm mining. And then I, later on, increase the amount of furnaces that I have, and then I increase the amount I'm mining more. And it's basically just a constant back and forth of mining more, and then smelting faster. And basically, the whole point is put down enough miners to the point where I can't smelt at all, and then put down more furnaces to the point where they aren't all smelting at the same time, and just keep doing that over and over and over. Another thing I can explain real quick is uh, I have that line of copper, the line of iron, and the line of ele electronic circuits all sitting next to each other right there. And the point of that is it's called a main bus. And essentially it's there so that you can create your factory by pulling off of that as needed, like off of those lines. You can use splitters and you, you know just sort of in general pull the resources off of there to create whatever you need in convenient modular type areas like it doesn't matter where you pull off of the resources as long as you're pulling off of the resources and you're getting the ones you need so that's sort of why that's there you can see that i am pulling off like some copper and some iron to do the the green pack production and just real quick i'll go over that again uh i'm pulling off iron to make iron gear wheels and then I'm putting up like pulling off more iron with the iron gear wheels in order to make transport belts and the transport belts are one of the two materials required to create a green pack the other thing required to create a green pack is the the inserter the base standard level orange inserter yellow inserter you know one of those two I don't it, it's somewhere in there, yellow-orange. But, uh, the yellow inserter takes, I believe, like a gear wheel? No, it doesn't take a gear wheel. It takes an electronic circuit, some iron plates, and some copper plates, I think. It, I don't have the recipe in front of me, but it's something like that. So I put all of those into the assembler, and it gets me the inserters, and it puts the inserters out onto a belt, one side of that belt is the inserters, the other side of the belt is the uh, conveyor belts, the transport belts, I, they're actually called in this. And it takes that line over to my row of green pack production, and then it turns those materials into green packs and puts them down onto my science line, and it takes the packs all the way over to the labs, and that's basically that. Um, it's a good setup, but I'm going to improve the setup later. Right now I'm tearing down the furnace setup because I'm going to, instead of having it go uh, vertically, I'm going to make it go horizontally. And that will allow me to fit more in, like more furnaces, which is necessary because I'm starting to get more iron ore. And also I just wanted sort of a more convenient setup. I end up placing down more than I need just because I start using steel furnaces and the steel furnaces are like twice as twice as quick as the uh, as the regular furnaces. I actually forgot that um, steel furnaces are still two by two like regular furnaces are. I thought they were three by three so I like I started making more room for them. And then I realized that they're 2x2, two two, and that's a lot more convenient. So I can use the same basic sort of setup and not have to really change anything other than making it horizontal. This time I go with 10 furnaces on each side. I move all the things out of the way that I have to move out of the way. And 
Ten furnaces is more than enough for the amount of iron that I'm processing. In fact, I uh, once I upgrade the steel furnaces, I really only need like three on each side, and that's more than enough. Just because steel furnaces are really good. And I don't have the level of iron ore coming in to support 20 steel furnaces. Which would be the same as supporting 40 regular furnaces, which is a little bit crazy. We'll get there. That will happen in the late game, as we start harvesting iron ore from other places and bringing it in. But, like, via train, probably. But, right now, this setup will do. And we'll probably, sometime soon, start, like, hauling in more iron ore, just because we will need more. And we'll set up a similar type setup to, uh to the iron ore, and maybe even the stone ore, but like a smaller one because, you know, we don't need as much stone. We do need some stone because I have to start building some walls and just putting up defenses in general so that the biters can't get to me. Uh, to sort of briefly explain what this this furnace setup is doing, it I think I already talked about it a little bit, but now you can see it in a little bit slower. Um, so what it does is it uses that underground belt you can see right next to where the iron ore is going in, basically. And that brings it around and puts it into the splitter facing down onto that line, like facing left onto it. The coal is coming in to the splitter on the left side facing right onto the belt. And what that accomplishes is a splitter if you have, like, it, like if I have just one direction of, of uh of belts going along and the splitter is facing onto it but the, the belt is like continuing past it in both directions so you know it's the belt doesn't end or start at the at the splitter then it'll split it onto one side so it just it becomes half of the belt and then the coal becomes the other half of the belt which allows me to have one belt of throughput for the furnaces anyways I hope you guys liked this uh, slowed down version of explaining things a little bit better. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.